So I'm Gary Kasulu, I'm fresh back from holiday. And the reason I tell you this is there's a lesson to be learned everywhere we go, right? So this is a, an important lesson for all you managers out there. There we went to a restaurant to eat and I've set the scene, the guy comes over, he's obviously the owner and he asks us what we want to eat. And he was so confident and charismatic. He was like, just leave it to me, I got this. Let me order for you. So he was like, fine, you order. Uh, one thing that we started to notice pretty straight on is that he, the way he spoke to his staff, it was quite funny at first, but then it was a bit more alarming. He was quite rude to them, shouting at them, uh, saying, look, clear the tables, that table isn't full up. And the staff just pretty much ignored his, his rants. And then when I looked there, I, I'd been on the island of Cyprus for quite a while, and I, and I, and I saw how many staff it took for how many tables. Now, this was a, wasn't a huge restaurant. We'd been in far bigger with, but the difference was he needed double the staff, if not triple. It's about 12, 13 people there looking after, at the very most, 15 tables. Like, but they were working real slow with no productivity and uh, they, they, they didn't feel excited about being there. So he had to overstaff himself. So there's a lesson for productivity. For social media, the food was great, it was fantastic, but I wonder what my review would have been if he was a bit kinder to his staff, because the food was amazing, and that, that we got uh, even more uh, attentive being looked after. So that's a lesson for everyone that's watching. Uh, you can learn a lesson anywhere you go in the world. There's always something interesting to learn, but certainly look at the way bosses speak to their staffs. Uh, to their staff and if a staff is motivated you don't need as many so there you go Gary Kasulu over and out hope you found that interesting